What is going on my friends? Hank here from Spurs and Brews Scale Modeling and I'm going to show you guys what I think is the best way to make antennas for your scale model tanks. What you need is a tank model of course. This is best done before painting but after most of the major assembly. We're also going to need our sprue snippers. We're going to need a lighter and we're going to need a set of steel guitar strings. It really doesn't matter what type or brand, they've just got to be steel, no nylon strings here. I had these at home already, but I'll leave a link down in the description below if you don't happen to be a guitar player, no worries at all. We're also going to need our cross lock tweezers. I've already used this set quite a few times as antennas for other tanks, that's one of the nice things about this technique is you can get several models out of a single pack of strings. And we're going to find a string that has a nice thickness for this scale. We don't need to be super picky here, this guy looks great. We're going to measure out roughly how long we want our antenna to be, and then we're going to grab our spruce snippers and cut that piece free from the rest of the length of string, like so. We can put the rest of our strings away for now and save those for later. Alright, so let's pop a turret off our tank, we're going to get that out of the way. And then we're going to do a few quick test fits of where we want this antenna to go. This T3476 has a nice antenna mount right here, so that keeps things nice and simple for this demonstration. And what we're going to do now is grab our cross lock tweezers, and we're going to grab the antenna about a quarter of an inch or so up from the bottom, just like this. And then we're going to get comfortable with the motion of putting that antenna into place right on target in the mount. Once it's go time, we're only going to have one shot at getting this right, so a few practice reps is a good idea. Once you're all set and you feel comfortable with the procedure, we are going to grab our lighter and we're going to heat up the bottom of that antenna for 5 to 10 seconds or so. Don't burn yourself, that's why we've got the tweezers. And once that antenna is hot, we're going to very quickly place the bottom of that antenna into our mount and we're going to apply a slight bit of downward pressure. What's going to happen here is the hot metal is going to melt down into the plastic a bit, the plastic is going to start cooling and solidifying right away, and it's going to secure our antenna into place without the need of any glue or adhesives. In just a second here, we're going to let go. We're going to make some final adjustments before everything cools completely, and then we're going to give it the old flick test. And check that out, you've got yourself a nice, secure antenna. So I hope you guys can give that technique a try, it'll work for just about any tank of any scale, and it's a great trick to have in the back pocket. Stay tuned for some more great scale modeling tips and tricks, and until next time my friends, be well, happy building, cheers.